my name is Nibi Lawson and I'm the founder and CEO of The Kinky Apothecary, Nigeria's first one-stop natural hair shop. Um, I first went natural in 19... and I'm the founder and CEO of The Kinky Apothecary, Nigeria's first one-stop natural hair shop. Um, I first went natural in 1999 um, because I just liked the way short natural hair looked so I cut all my hair off and I was basically just having fun with it and I didn't really focus on the natural the sort of healthy hair aspect to my natural hair journey until about 2009 um, because I'd moved back to Nigeria. I hadn't, wasn't able to find anywhere to do my hair in a way that I liked it. I noticed that a lot of products that were recommended online, on the forums and the websites I saw, I couldn't find them here in Nigeria. So I decided to um, set up a shop that um, I hoped would become somewhere that would become a one-stop shop so anybody who needed anything for natural hair could just go and find everything they wanted under one roof. I'm always getting asked questions about my hair or um, about natural hair in general. People want to know things like how do you maintain so much hair, isn't it a lot of work? Um, people want to know if they go natural do they have to chop all their hair off at one go, which you don't have to, you can transition slowly. Um, but the main question I get is how do you get your hair to grow so long? Um, is there a magic formula? Are there products that you use or anything? The fact is, there are certain things that are beyond our control when it comes to hair growth. Um, the rate at which your hair grows is genetic. It's not something that you can really um, change. The good news is that most people's hair is growing. Unless you have a medical condition, your hair will be growing at a certain rate every month. Um, the trick is that you have to learn how to keep that hair on your head. So you have to learn how to do things that are not breaking your hair off every time you touch, the, um, every time you touch it. And one of the main things is um, moisture. The actual products you use are not that important. It's not, um, there's not one universal product that everybody should use. Um, people have different preferences and so you just need to try out a few things and see what works for you. Like a, a moisturising shampoo or shampoo bar, um, such as this um, Bow Beam shampoo bar. It um, clarifies the hair without stripping it completely. Um, another thing you can do is that when you're um, washing, instead of using a shampoo, you can wash with a conditioner instead, and that's called co-washing. So you just apply the conditioner to your hair and um, lather it like you would with a shampoo and then rinse it out. Um, but the important thing when you're picking your cleanser is to ensure it doesn't contain any sulfate. So read the label, and if there's anything with sulfate in it, um, try and avoid it because sulfates will strip your hair and dry it out which means that you have to do more work in introducing moisture to your hair. Um, the next step is to always condition your hair. Never wash your hair and then just leave it. Always condition your hair and if you have time and if possible try and do a deep condition. So this means you add the conditioner to your hair, you cover with a cap and you leave it in for a while. Um, you can apply heat to help the, condition, the conditioner penetrate a bit better and then after at least 20 to 30 minutes, you rinse it out. Um, after your, um, your conditioner, you follow with a leave-in, and this is the moisturising stage of your regimen. Um, just as if you were washing your face, you wouldn't wash your face and dry it and go straight to makeup. And it's the same with your hair. You need to, after you've washed your hair, you need to put a moisturiser in there as a, bar as a barrier. Um, and it's just an added step that helps your hair um, thrive. So uh, my favourite at the moment is the Curls Milkshake because it, um, I just find it softens my hair quite, quite well. So the important thing to note about moisturisers is that oils do not moisturise your hair. A lot of people will apply oil to their hair and wonder why their hair is still dry. But as I, someone recently said to me, if you were thirsty, would you reach for a glass of water or would you reach for a glass of olive oil? So you have to think of that with your hair as well. Um, your product should be water-based, have water as the first ingredient um, and then you use your oils to seal in the moisture afterwards. Um, my favourite sealant is um, a product that we actually make which is the Kinky Apothecary Whip Butter. Um, I like it, it's a combination of um, shea butter, um, aloe vera and a few oils and I like it because it doubles up as both um, a sealant to seal the moisture into your hair and it also has some holds, so it gives you some definition when you twist your hair and untwist it. And so those are the five stages of any good regimen. Another major factor with um, retaining length is, to, is protective styling. 
Um, protective styling is basically styling your hair in a way that you don't have to keep manipulating it um, constantly. I'm going to show you a quick protective style that can be done in less than 10 minutes um, in the morning before you leave for work and it's just a way of keeping your ends tucked away and protected. First, separate a section at the front. Twist loosely to add a little bit of texture and volume. Secure with a bobby pin. And you can get creative here and pin it any way you like. Now gently pull the back section into a ponytail using a hairband. Make sure you're careful um, not to pull your edges too tightly. Grab some sections, roll and pin. And you're done. Okay, so that's it. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.